So here at Gen Con 2012, it's Saturday. Has it been a busy con for you, Brent? Yeah, it's been okay. We've had a lot of people come by and we've done a lot of demos and that sort of thing. So, yeah. uh, you're you're going to show here Knockdown Drag Out, but you've also uh, designed Third and Long. Third and Long, a football card game, that's right. Yeah. Okay, but we're going to take a look at, at this game because I, I, the artwork really caught my eye. Uh, and I like the already the mechanic of uh, flipping these cards over for healthy and, and so on. So yeah, yeah. Go, please go ahead. Yeah. So the uh, the rules, as we say, for this card game are brutally simple. This is for three to ten players. It can take as little as fifteen minutes. Uh, basically, what happens? It's a Wild West bar fight. So you can see here that I've got a character. This one happens to be Billy. Here's another one called Cactus Pete, and he happens to be an old crusty miner. Uh, everybody starts out healthy in the bar, and by playing attack cards like this, kick, you see that uh, the person will be hurt if you roll a four better on the die. So if I were to roll and uh, say kick Cactus Pete, he would go from healthy to hurt. Okay? So he can still do everything normally when he's hurt, but he is in danger of, let's say next turn, getting, say, punched. If he got hurt a second time, he would be knocked out. He would go to the middle of the table and be in danger now of somebody tossing him out of the bar. Tossing people out of the bar is a two-step process. You have to spend one turn to pick them up over your shoulder, like so. Uh -huh. Then the next turn, they, they have a chance to wake up, okay? When it comes back to Cactus Pete's turn, he'd have a chance to wake up. If he rolled a five or six on the six-sided die, he would wake up and be back in the fight. But if he failed to do that, then the person could play the toss-out card. If you play the toss-out card, Cactus Pete is thrown out into the street, okay? Mm -hmm. He's out of the game. So I'll keep his character card as a point marker, and the fight will continue. Uh, when does it finish? Well, the last person standing is going to get three bonus points, so they'll probably be the winner. But there is a scenario if you have ten players playing, where somebody could draw out a lot of people and get points early on, and then get themselves thrown out, and still wind up the winner. So it's a very fast game. We've played it with all sorts of age ranges, our nieces and nephews up to our parents, and have fun punching each other and hitting with broken chair legs and stuff. <laughs> So it's a fast-paced game for three to ten players. And it's been out since 2010. Since 2010, that's right. Well, where could uh, gamers get this? You can get it most places uh, just be by the fact that we're uh, distributed by Alliance and Warpath Games. So any game store should be able to get a hold of it. You can also get it from our website, interactionpoint.com. Okay. Uh, and then just a, a, sh a short pitch maybe for Third and Long, uh, which I have heard of. Okay. Yeah. Third and Long is, uh, is my attempt to uh, to make a football card game that uses nothing but but cards. Okay? So yeah, here's some of the player cards, for instance. Okay. Generic generic players, not, not a licensed team or anything, right? right? These yeah. are uh, fictitious teams of the so-called PFL, or Professional Football League. But my whole concept behind Third and Long was to make a football card game that used nothing but cards. There have been football games out there that use little pieces and side items to try to account for down and distance and time on the clock and that sort of thing. Um, I wanted to avoid all that, so I've got some unique mechanics that allow us to use nothing but cards and play a game of football. Great. Thank you. Okay, thank you.